It's super dark, but look how super cool he looks in dark times. What? This is awesome. He's like my little illumination buddy. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out today and playing some more Ark Future Evolved. And we're coming at you with another update with Blinky the Anglerfish, who is about to get flippin' upgraded. We're gonna drop this infuser underwater. We're gonna stick 25 element in it. That's 24. That's 25. And we're gonna get this angler right on top of it. We're joined with Blitzfire911. What's going on, buddy? How's it going? Oh, it's going great. Are you excited for this? Because I very much am. I am. Oh, these guys are a little. These guys are a little quicky. Are we gonna have a Super Saiyan Anglerfish? <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm very much excited for this. I think that's close enough, right? Yeah. Okay. Infused. Warming up. GTF back. <sighs> Super Saiyan. Will it light you on fire underwater? Oh my gosh. It should. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like. It's like an electric glow. Oh my god, he's so fast. Wah! This is the best. I love how he's like flashing like an electric eel almost. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's what's this sparkle creature? Oh, this is the uh this is the loot crate sparkle creature, the lipo lur lur lur. -lur. I'm gonna <laughs> munch him. It's the lucky dino. Well, we're gonna harvest you, lucky dino. Can I get some melee in you? There we go. Blinky. Let's harvest Blinky for all of his juicy element. I am Nick, guys. This is Nerd Parade. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us and playing some more Future Evolved today. Oh my gosh, he just he just engulfed me in a squall. Like, where'd he go? Did he just... That's what happens when they die. <gasps> he ninja'd? They whirlpool away. Oh my god, he just Naruto Shippuden'd me. He would like Kage Bushin... He cloned that. He replacement jutsu'd out of that. I kept saying bunch of jutsus that were not the right jutsu. <laughs> I got the right jutsu for you. Okay. Let's go after something that's easy to kill. I guess this pleasey is what I'm going to go for. 35. There we go. 35, please. Please be easy to kill. Pump some melee on this dude. I love how fast and blinky they are as well. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, good. He's attracting another anglerfish. And one of the reasons why we decided to pick the anglerfish is because anglers actually attract... Oh, I'm in trouble. Anglers actually attract other creatures. Oh, this is bad news bears. I don't want to get my tech angler killed right away. Let's... Whoa. So this should make for easier farming. Ouch. I'm gonna have to force feed this guy. Oh no. He's so low. Oh my god, he is gonna die. He's legit gonna die. Get the F out. How much health do I have? I have 16 health. Maybe, oh my god. maybe picking on a pleasy was a bad idea. We should mulligan this. What's what's easy to munch? Give me something easy to munch. Give me some frickin' krill. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going after these coals. Give me element shards, you fishy farts. That's right. That pleasey is giving chase. Watch for the shark. I'm scared of everything right now. I got 21 element from that <laughs> little coal. Oh god. Where's where's our cave of protection? I need to get back in it. We gotta force feed this dude. Maybe Go I should here by the the Moses. Okay. Maybe I should level up health on this guy. I was going for pure damage. I was like, oh, I'll out DPS it. I always <laughs> do that every time. 1900 health. Did not a strong blinky fish make. <laughs> these, these aren't super highly leveled up uh, anglers anyway. So, okay, we're back in. We're going to have to take a, a brief hiatus and get this guy <laughs> refilled so that we can actually show him off. But look. Look at how yellow and flashy he is. It's so cool. It's so cool. Alright. Techni technical difficulties. We'll be RBs in just a second once we get this guy up. We might have to get a couple of levels on him. We just took him out and maybe we, we jumped the gun on this. A scotch. I need to get some meats for him. Alright guys, we are back with a fully healed electric angler glowy broly fish of blinkiness. Okay. Uh, enough of my random shenanigan room. Let's show this guy off. We need to go over here. We've leveled him up just to scotch. This is the stats. Almost 300% melee. We harvested a little bit. He's getting... She's getting levels like crazy. Increased weight a little bit just for the amount of shards. Ah, mantas. Let's go after some mantas. Those ought to be easy kills. 
and we can I've got blitz here with me we can try to tech down some of the bigger stuff and then just harvest it because that's what these guys are going to be for is, is harvesting much munch for lunch oh god that's a 150 manta <laughs> that feels bad should we tame that should we make tech mantis I want to make tech mantis I think they would look awesome I think they would too all right we're gonna have to munch it for the video instead of taming it for the video 40 I got I don't know what I had from that because I had a level level up screen let's go there we go Come here, you stinker. Stinker manta. Yes, attract more of the mantas. I am leveling up like crazy. I want to get the the melee up so that I can see what I'm harvesting here. There we go. 69 shards from the 150. 69 shards per manta. This is good. I think the Under the Sea fans are going to have a lot of fun with the uh, little angler. I'm not going to go for those. <laughs> I'm not going to go for those jellies. We're gonna hang around under the sea. Oh, we can sing. You know what we haven't sung in a while? Oh, you know what's coming, don't you, Blitz? <laughs> tech. Tech narwhals. Narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, cause they are so awesome. Tech walls, tech walls, munch on the sick these butthole. Get <laughs> record. I love how fast this guy is, I just can't really control him. Do you think we could increase- oh, it's super- <gasps> It's super dark, but look how super cool he looks in dark times! What? This is awesome! He's like my little illumination buddy. I, I kind of want to leave how dark it is right now. I'm not gonna gamma. There's no way I'm gamming, gamming up, because this is too cool looking. Looks Let's, awesome. You have seriously made me a glow bro. <laughs> All I want to do is travel. Look, look at how terrifying he looks. Am I? That's great. That is so great. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving the angler fish. <laughs> it's so much fun. I really don't spend enough time under the sea. I neglect under the sea a lot. I feel like this is going to bring me under there more. I'm, let's stick close. This is much more scary. <laughs> like to explore. We're lighting up the ocean right now, but this is so much more scary and intense. <gasps> and we can spot this angler from a mile away. Oh, I like how you're pulling. I appreciate that. Do you think we might be able to increase, like, its attack radius? Yeah. Okay, because I feel like with its swim turning radius on point, I'm not doing... And it's so fast that I'm not actually doing as much... Uh, I'm not landing hits with the much, is what I feel like. Uh, health, I'm, I'm okay with the health. I got you as to tech stuff down with me. I'm not going out by myself. But I want to keep leveling up the melee just to see how high we can get with this this harvest. Oh, did you get me a dunk? I did. Oh, let's see what this dunk gives. Oh, oh wow, this dunk's giving me a lot. Almost 200 element just from that dunk alone. At 358 melee. This is nice. This is nice. I am digging this guy, and if we can make that bite radius a little bit bigger, Globro is going to be a Glow Pro. Let's gamma up a little <laughs> bit. Gamma 3, that's not too shabby. Okay, he still looks night lighty, and I can see where I'm going. And we do, Should we talk about the plans that we have for the other Under the Sea dudes? Yeah. I think we should too. We've got tech or elemental. I keep saying tech, but it's elemental per the mod. Elemental Dunky is coming your way. That's going to be really cool. I'm, I love donkeys. They're some of my favorite sea animals, and being able to harvest tech from the oil nodes, element shards from the oil nodes, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I also have plans for an uh, elemental manta. Ele I, yeah, we talked a little bit about the elemental manta. Awesome. What are, what are the, what can we do with the elemental man elemental manta? God, that's a tongue twister almost. What can we do with that? It's got that stun attack with its tail, so I think I want to try to do something with that attack instead oh. of just harvesting. Oh my god, please make it like the jellyfish, where it shocks oh, people. Stun. Yeah, that would be nice. People could actually use it as a PvP water mount. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh my god, and it oh, we have to make it like really decently fast, have a decent radius of attack, and when people are like zooming around, and enough to catch people in their techery. Yeah. So if they're like zooming around... You do the little zzz and it like shocks them. Oh my god, that's amazing. 
I love how we're like brainchilding this out together. This is so cool. And this is basically the way the mod has been working. I've been like, we come up with the ideas like together and Blitz makes it happen. I had this whole idea for Future Evolved and there was just absolutely no way to do it with the, the arc settings as they were. We had to go the mod route. And uh, Blitz was like, hey man, I can make a mod for you. I got this. I'm, I'm great at this. And I was like, let's do it. And then that's how the team of Nick and Blitz were born. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is what started the whole thing. And I'm like, Blitz, I'm going to come to you with like a bajillion ideas. And he's like, great, let's do it. And <laughs> here, here we are. Like, this is our, this is our baby. Like, w there was the, uh, the Papa Nick and the, the, the Papa Blitz. And then we went together to the ARC Adoption Center that was tech related. And we adopted Future Evolved. It is our child, and we are raising it together. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with the uh, the creative side, making all these uh, materials for the dinosaur. It's so it's super great. cool. Does that sound really weird? Did I make that weird? A little bit. <laughs> but the but weird is okay. weird is good. Weird is okay. I'm okay with weird. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is. Can I read off my list of dinos? I'm please to make please do please read off your list because I'm so super excited. Okay, so two more quasi-water ones I want to make are the Baryonyx and the Sarko. Because who uses the Sarko? Anymore? Nobody uses Sarko. Oh, what can we do? Baryonyx is, is very cool. Like, they're, like, mildly useful because they're spin attack. But what can we do with Sarkos? I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet, but I think it'll look awesome, so I'm going to figure something out. Oh, we'll, we'll have to figure something We'll have to figure out a, a utility. Because Sarkos can be a little all-terrain-y. Like, yeah. we, we could take these dudes in the swamp. They don't use oxygen or stamina in the water either. Oh, that is beautiful. You know what? Tech Sarko. That is awesome. I am so glad because Sarkos are so rarely used. People get Sarko saddles in like garbage. Yeah. Now exactly. there's a reason to have them. That's fantastic. The Baryonyx. What can we do with the Baryonyx? I want to add something to its tail whip to kind of make it a little better. Maybe make it work on land. Oh, okay. So it's more of a, a deadly weapon on land rather than just in like the water. A, like a sea only attack? Yeah. Not like a, a C, the letter C for your keyboard, but like a an ocean only attack. I like that. That's pretty darn cool. As we And then some some of the land dinos I want to make are Terror Bird, Dire Bear, Sabretooth, uh the big monkey, uh Scorpion, uh, and Parasaur. There so, you go. Oh yes. So the these this list one thing I didn't notice on your list that I, I would love to add if we could. Could we do a tech trike? I would love to do the tech trike. I would love a tech Mr. Pickles. <laughs> because that would just make my day. Trike holds a, such a special place in my heart. It was my very first arc tame. And it's just something that I feel like has been completely forgotten. I mean, they've gotten a little bit of love lately with the head buff. And we've tried to use them in situations where they would be tanks. In, in turret situations and things like that for soaking. But I still don't quite feel like they're up to snuff yeah when it comes Maybe to we can the, figure something out with the tech shield on them I, that would be awesome like a like a one-sided tech shield yeah like a barrier in front of it to kind of buff the head buff that would be awesome can it like would it like break well, I may just put the, the texture on its face like techie and increase the the buff it gets on its face damage resistance now would it be like a permanent thing like a permanent shield because the saddles don't have a durability effect yeah probably that is so cool, but it only is effective from the front. Right. Just like make it transform its face into a tech face. So if used in, that was so cool. So if used in raids, here's what I'm thinking. If you use it in raids, you could act like a mobile shield that your troops could get behind, but somebody would have to come and flank it on a Rex or something to kill it. Yeah. Oh, that's Use it like a battering ram. That's really, really cool. Speaking of battering rams, you or know what we Exactly, you read my mind. We have a tech like Rhino Horn, and you charge it into a shield, and it, like the, the it does a bunch of oh my god, that the just, you get the charge going. Oh, the, oh my god, this is this is how we come up with stuff. We just sit here and we're like we're messing with the current stuff of the game, and we're trying to. We're, I I want to make you guys more of a part of it. That's why we're recording this, like our little banter back and forth. But this is kind of how we come up with stuff. The, our, our brainstorming. Oh poop! We got eels. Oh, let's... Should we... No, let's not mess with them. <laughs> let's not mess with them, at all. Unless you're able to take them down. Oh, you're doing it! You're wrecking them! Nicely, Joe. Oh, Lectopupus! Get out of here, bungholes. Actually, I seem to be okay. Is I the angler... 
I was just I got that guy got shocked like once. Is the angler angular? I think he shocked me because I was stuck. Oh, you because I didn't get uh, I didn't get froze diddled. <laughs> that's all right. So we have qu a, quite a hefty list. Sabretooth is going to be so cool. I love Sabretooth, and nobody ever tames them. I know somebody's going to say Tech Direwolf. I know it. Uh, so how do you feel about Tech Direwolves? I, I kind of want to make the Sabretooth and Direwolf interchangeable tech versions. Kind of make them do the same thing. Oh, okay, that sounds perfect. I, uh, I really, really like this. Now, let's talk about something that's been suggested a thousand times, and it's been Tech Flyers. Pteranodon, yeah. Quetzal. The I actually want to make some kind of tech armored Quetzal because they're completely completely useless in Future Evolved because they get rifled down so easy. They are super weak in Future Evolved. All flyers are pretty much weak in Future Evolved. There's a lead over here. You want to try to get it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, all flyers are pretty weak in Future Evolved, but if we're not careful, we can break the game with flyers. I mean, flyers are generally pretty OP. Yeah, pretty much all I want to do with the tech uh, flyers would make them take less damage from the rifles, but not the turrets. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. Just make it like... Uh, oh, 450 shards from that guy, by the way. Could nice. we... That would be something that we might be able to do like an actual saddle for. Yeah. Could we make it like an armored thing? Like almost tech Iron Man looking saddles for these guys? Possibly. That would be really hard. It'd probably require some modeling, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe we could reach I out just, to a modeler. Might. Yeah, that would be nice. If Somebody in the community who's a modeler that watches Nerd Parade, get in contact with us. Maybe That's more actually an animator we would need. An animator? Okay. If we have an animator in the, in the Nerd Parade community that's interested in maybe giving us a hand with animating something for the Tech Quetzal saddle, making it look really cool, like maybe Iron Manny, hit me up. Hit, hit me up. Hop into the Discord, hop in, hit me up on, on the YouTubes, the tubes of you, however you want to do it. We would appreciate it. That would be awesome. People have suggested, though, Pteranodons. Because right now nobody uses Pteranodons. What yeah. do you think about, I don't know about, like, pew pew lasers on a Pteranodon? I think it'd be cool to have pew pew lasers when you spin. Oh, in very interesting. Like, it creates almost like a little vortex that does more damage? Yeah, like you spin and like it, it does like a like a Star Wars-style double double plasma blast down the butthole of the Death Star. <laughs> First of all, I love your reference. Love it. <laughs> Second of all, that sounds really freaking cool. Really freaking cool. Okay, we're, we're, we're brainstorming a lot here. We're trying to make it so flyers aren't just complete garbage on the Future Evolve server. And it's coming slowly but surely. It's definitely going to be on our list of to-do things. We're just going to have to tinker with some of the, the checks and balances. As of right now, and at, for the majority of the mod, we want to make sure that PvP and balance in PvP is preserved. That is always going to be our number one priority. And right now, with the way the things that they are, PvP is rather balanced. You need everything has a, a, a check and a balance. Like, tech turrets. They're... They're very strong, but to take them down, you have to have a tanker. So you have to make sure that the tank lasts out the, the turret dis density, uh, just to use one example. So we have to make sure that flyers don't completely break that sort of MMO-style uh, raid of strategy, I guess. We'll use raid strategy that we have set in place for that. And I don't think any of these things are too terribly game-breaking. Uh, the Quetzal armor saddle sounds really cool just to mostly help in farming situations and open world because a tech rifle versus a current Quetzal is like five seconds and it's done to the yeah, point where you people get there to defend. Yeah, people won't even tame them anymore on the server. And that makes me feel kind of bad because I really I like Quetzals. They're so like useful in core game. But we'll have to mm -hmm. figure out a way. I, li I like the idea for the armor. I think that's much this really man cool. to do his tail attack real quick. Okay. And this is Maybe kind of hit me. Yeah, well, this is kind of what you've got in mind for the. Uh... Well, I just saw it and it gave me an idea. It does the like it whips it under its body and points straight. I think about making a, a a blast come out of that, like a bullet. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you give it a little bit of a range. Yeah. Can it have like a little bit of a range with a, a an explosion effect where it uh, does like a, a little bit of an AOE? Yeah. That would, that would be nice, just to, you know, in case somebody, like, is 
maybe running from you underwater. That's my only uh, yeah. That's my only thought with that. All right. Well, we've done enough brainstorming. We've been mo swimming around here for about fifteen minutes, talking and munching, and we've gotten close to three k elemental shards just from screwing around in the water. I'm gonna just call. Come, please. Oh, pleasey. Let's see what the pleasey gets. Bzzz. I'm gonna call the elemental uh, the elemental anglerfish a success. It's like, it's gonna be like your raptor, like your lower tiered underwater harvester for uh, your elemental shard needs. I am I am super digging it. Blitz, excellent job with your wizardry and sorcery. Oh, thank you. Excellent job, and I hope you guys out there are excited for some of the new dinos to come and the announcement of some of the flyer. Redux some of the flyer redos and some of the uh, cool ideas with the tech Mr. Pickles. I'm totally digging the tech Mr. Pickles, but that is going to wrap it up for us today, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the mod. It's a lot, a lot of fun. We're complete. Our brainchild is completely changing what is tech related in our future evolved is. Um, I feel like such. I feel like we're innovating, and I'm so proud of it it's it's so it's so rewarding like the feeling is so rewarding but anyway enough of my rambles i hope you guys like this video if you did you know what to do for us kaboom hit that thumbs up button it helps us out so much more than you know and if you like this video enough to subscribe to the page i would greatly appreciate it. you might be my best friend forever and ever we'd be best farming friends like me and my glow bro here forever all right enough of my I'm so dumb. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to take care of yourselves, stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Later.